day after the storm. I had to clear a path to the animal yards and start the process of getting this big tree cleaned up that has come down here and basically broken some gates and blocked off access to places. Thankfully it did not land on a roof or on any animals or people, so I'm thankful for that. It's just going to be a mess to clean up and that's all. So, good. Quite of a mess. <laughs> the little sheep here, they, they stayed dry in their little house. The water was all around the ground here, but their little spot stayed dry in there. So that was good for them. Alright guys. We've got a bunch of trees that are down by the clubhouse over here too. So that's going to change the landscape around here a bit. I guess it's just the way it goes. It could be worse. They didn't fall on the clubhouse, so again, we're thankful for that. But here's one of those trees that fell that goes next to the path down there we used to use. Here's the one tree. And then we have another big one here that right by the opening of the clubhouse that is uprooted and is it took out another one on the way down, looks like. And a couple more small ones over there that are just uprooted and down. Oh, two or three more actually over there. But a lot of heavy wind here yesterday, so I guess it's to be expected. Our clubhouse stayed intact. The hay we had in here is pretty good still, I think. And that's a good thing. We had a tree over here that fell down right next to this little chicken coop. Again, not hitting it. <laughs> and if it had hit it, they would have been really squished or scared at least. But thankfully, it went right behind it. So we're thankful. And God protected us from worse scenario. And that's pretty amazing. And the last thing that I noticed was all five of our hay tents are still standing. Some of them have bent, bent poles and they're kind of stressed, but they all stayed and we're very thankful that God held them in place because this is all of our winter feed for our animals and uh, it would have been a real big problem if we lost our hay. So we're thankful. I already opened them up this morning so they could air out a little bit. But we had them pretty barricaded. Aaron and I were out here putting pallets all over the place next to them yesterday to try to hold everything down. And they they stayed. We got a little bit of water in the other end of that one over there. So we'll have to use that hay first because the water, water level rose up above where the hay is sitting on pallets inside there. Because uh, it was just so deep here. We have a good bit of water. Thankfully, most of them did not get water in them. But this is the hay tent that took a lot of wind right in the front. And I, we, this is how we had barricaded tons of pallets all around everywhere, trying to hold it down as good as we could. And this is the front end, how it looks. It definitely took a beating, but those pallets helped hold it from the wind getting up in there too easily and taking it between that and God holding it in place, which is what I really think happened because there's a ton of damage everywhere around us in the community too. So um, we're just saying thank you God because <laughs> this is our winter hay for our animals and we still have it. So we can thank him for that. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to go to start cleaning up the mess in the backyard and see where we can get some water for the animals for this afternoon's feeding and for us to drink <laughs> since power is still out. But uh, we'll talk to you later.